Hi everyone, in this video I'm doing an, a new review of a new tripod um, and seemingly it's meant to be just as big as my Manfrotto or my Giotto's tripod but it comes a hell of a lot smaller so far and seemingly this has got the head on it as well so I'll be interested to see how this turns out Okay, what it is, it's a Photo Pro and it's a carbon fibre one does it say anything else? It just says Photo Pro and that's it oh right okay so the legs rotate right round to the top and I go down there and that and it's got a ball head so so far I have got a three-way head on my Manfrotto 190X probe and I've got a video head on my Giotto's MTL 9351B um, and that's how they come up and then and this one this is the Pro Fo no, Photo Pro MGC 684N MG G I think it's for the G type locks which is what these have so again that's different from my other ones and the C is for the carbon fibreness of it and let's see if we bring that does that move that down I don't know Ooh. So, size-wise, so far, let's do it against my smallest one, my Manfrotto one. When all legs closed with head, there's a little bit of a difference there. There's a hell of a lot of a weight difference. This one is a lot lighter than this one. Obviously, it's a little bit smaller. And my Giotto's one, which is bigger again. Okay, so we're going a good bit smaller than that but did they get to the same height whenever we mount, whenever we kind of make them big erect them okay my height for reference I'm six foot tall or if you want to do it in centimeters I'm 183 centimeters and for me I would say the uh, the cheapest one here the Manfrotto was it 190 Pro X Pro B um, it's perfect height. Like whenever I'm up there and I've got my camera on top, that's absolutely fine. I don't really need it taller than that. However, the next tallest one, very close, is the carbon fibre fibre one from Photo Pro, the MGC, and that is going higher than my head. So that may be useful for something in the future. And then the absolute biggest one is the Giotto's one, uh, which comes just maybe about an inch taller. Um, but it's a little bit confusing because if you keep pulling this out, it just kind of comes straight out. So it's hard to tell exactly where the, the final spot should be. Meanwhile, this one, it's got two bits. That's as far as it can go. If you learn how to tighten it. That way. And the Proby just, again, won't go any higher than that. Now, so far, so good. So cheap carbon fiber and then video one now the other thing I would say is that this one has got G type legs and that means you twist them and that's them going in which I am starting to like and um, in terms of speed of how we can fold these up let's see I'll speed this up so you get a rough idea okay so start off with the Manfrotto I've finished my shoot I've got to pack it all up so it's down, down, down. I like how they just fall into place. Done. Now, the Photo Pro MGC. Okay, so. Done. Oh, actually it's not, because it's the other way around. Done. And the last one, the Giotto's. Done.
Okay, so from the height test, so that we can get the highest, but also I think we need to do the lowest test. So if you want to do any stuff like macro shots, um, usually you want to do that inside. Okay, so the Giotto's, uh, that's it at the lowest height. The, well, actually I'll show you if we can get lower as well. This one, the Photo Pro, uh, I suppose it can go a little bit lower than that. Goes down to there, and there. So again, this one, uh, just erected like that, is at is, is the lowest here. But, there's a difference here, because the Manfrotto one, the Pro BX, has a thing where you can press a button, and it comes down to the side. So that is very handy, and then you've got your, uh, your camera lower down than this. Uh, however, we can go, so the, the man we want, we can get it as low as we want. We can fake the have it on the ground. Let's see. That is how low you can get the man one under. The Giotto's one, let's see how low we can get that there. Now, to get these legs bigger, you have to pull that bit out, and then it goes up to there. And same with the other side. Not the easiest, actually any of these, I don't think, to really change the height of it. Uh, uh. Oh, now this one also does go lower. So if we uh, do that, and that, aha! Uh -huh. in, in terms of the camera, ah, uh, now that's a video head, so that's useless. Can't can we? Can we twist the video head around? I don't think we can. Well, I suppose we've actually had the camera on some form like this. And this one, the camera finder one, I don't think we're going to get it much lower. We can obviously get it so that the legs go, damn it, go out flat. Go. There. I think that's as low as it's going to go. We're not going to get that any lower. So, uh, in terms of who can get the lowest, it's the Manfrotto 190 Pro BX or X Pro B U, whatever. Um, yeah. okay, so, do they have any other features that we could look at? The Giotto's? No. The Manfrotto? No. But the Photo Pro? Yes, there is. There's one kind of extra feature that it's got, apart from the fact that it, it is the lightest. And apart from the fact that it is the only one that's carbon fibre in this. However, the carbon fibre is the material that it's made out of. It's nothing to do with how it's made, I don't think. And the only other difference is this one having G-locks, those having some other type of locks, is that this one has got special... Like, you'll notice, it's got one spongy cushion there, and it's got another one which is not so spongy. It's kind of a little bit different. And there's also a different bit up here as well. I'm trying to figure out what that is. So, if you untwist it, and then if you give this leg a twist, effectively, now you've got a bipod. How useful is that? Not at all. But what is useful is that you've now got a carbon fibre monopod. So if you're, I'll stay down here. So if you're hiking up a hill and you want a walking stick, Ta da And you've got a lighter tripod in your rucksack, and you've got a walking stick, and I'm guessing that's what this bit up here is for, to be more of a walking stick, and that's taking a lot of work! Um, so that's pretty good. Um, and then I think just a simple case of twisting off this bit here, like this, and now we do something. Aha! No, what you do is you take off this bit here, I think. Maybe. Okay, shock horror. I've actually had to refer to the instructions on this one. Um, so, what it is, take out the centre column of this. Go down there. And the centre column is actually in two parts, so that's how you take it out. The bottom bit has this big thick screw down there. Stick that on there, that's that solid. And then that's you've got your top part again. So this is actually now going to be a very 
very big monopod. And after spinning that one for ages, you can then, that, that'd be better. So it's a one, two, three, four, five bit of a monopod. You can then stick your head back on there. Done. And then stick your camera on top. Okay, now it's actually, it's quite, it's, it's a bloody heavy monopod actually, even with carbon fibre all the way through. Maybe because of, of that head, but it's huge as well. Let's see. So if I go bang, bang, bang. One, two, three. That's a monopod. Oh, you can't see. So I've now got a monopod which is actually higher than myself. Uh, very handy for some reason. But what's more handy is the fact that you have a walking stick, is what I think, if you're walking up a hill and then you've got a lighter uh, bipod in your rucksack. And if you want to put it back together again, let's see how quickly I can do this. So you bring this down, take off the centre column, simply screw that back into its leg part. Get lots of threading going on. And then for this bit, unlock the middle bit. Again, lots of threading. Stick. Walking it through. It goes up through there. So that's the bottom bit through. You can tighten that up by twisting that. A certain direction. The other direction. That's it tight. Then the top bit. Or the head. Part of the centre column. Fits on there. Again, lots of threading. Which I suppose is good. I suppose the more threading you've got, the stronger or the longer it's going to last, I guess. I think. Don't know. But yeah, so that's it. Done. So that's the secret thing of this one, which the other ones definitely do not have that ability for you to just be able to twist off one of the legs in any way. Um, okay, so yeah, that's it with the ball head. I'll probably do a review soon on video ball head versus. Um, three-way head as well, I'll give you my reviews on that. Uh, but yes, yeah, so weight-wise, this one wins. Size-wise, this one wins in the fact that it's the smallest, especially when you fold it all up like that. So it takes up a lot less space in your camera bag uh, or, you know, in your, in your rucksack, uh, especially if you're going traveling. Oh, actually, that, that's where this one's a big win. If you are going on a holiday somewhere, and you are um, thinking about weight for going on an airplane. The carbon fibre one, the fact that it's the smallest, it will fit in your rucksack, or something will be sticking up above it. Like because I remember I took, took this one to Japan, and getting to Japan was absolutely fine. Coming back from Japan, but like, oh no, you have to put it in a hold, which is really annoying. And um, fortunately, it's metal, and I didn't have any worries about it breaking in anyway. But um, yeah, so that's where. If you've got weight and size restrictions, if you're doing any stuff travelling, then going for the man Frodo with it being that size, which is the small set of the lot, compared to this one with its head. If you're going travelling, get carbon fibre. Photo Pro. My my suggestion anyway. Okay, hope that helps guys. Cheers, bye bye.